Hello everybody, I'm John Rolfe here at John Rolfe Auctions and we've got a big sale coming up starting on the uh, 20th of April and as we always, we've got a variety of weird and wonderful things coming up and today I'm going to show you five lots coming up in that sale that I think might be of interest. Last week um, we were called to a storage facility in Luton of all places, beautiful part of the world, and whilst there um, we discovered that we were actually clearing the estate of the famous songwriter uh, Bill Martin. Uh, Bill Martin did a lot of work with the Bay City Rollers, Cliff Richard, uh, Sandy Shaw and Elvis. He actually wrote a song uh, for Elvis which is good. Um, but at the back of the container amongst some you know various chattels um, we managed to get our hands on this. Um, it's all been cleared with the family. This is an original 1967 Eurovision winner's medal. Uh, one has never come to market before, believe it or not. When a, an act wins Eurovision, four medals are given. It's one to the artist and uh, three for the production. And uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it was awarded to Bill in 1967 for a uh, puppet on a string as it says on the back. Um, we don't quite know where to place this and having spoken at length with the family we've agreed it's going in at no reserve and no estimate. So it's here completely to go and just to um, shore up the uh, winning Eurovision medal we have also have these two and these are for the BBC Song for Europe. Um, one dated 1967, again for Puppet on a String, who had to win this to get onto Eurovision. And this one was for uh, Congratulations in 1968. And it won the uh, Song for Europe and was pipped second by the Spanish. Those three are going through on, on that weekend sale with a large collection of items from the Bill Martin estate. And we're incredibly excited about that. Uh, now, moving and changing the tone a bit, I was in a storage uh, container uh, locally, just, 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 just at the A46 here, and uh, I spoke to the lady who owned the container uh, after, after people went head through the door and said, uh, well, it's, it's okay, there's a pair of uh, knackered blue painted chairs that I don't think uh, we can do much with, um, when she says, well, Mr. Rolf, are you going to discredit Monet's chairs? And I said, Monet's chairs? And she said, yes, yes, they are the original chairs in Monet, the famous uh, French Impressionist artist. These are from Monet's dining room. And uh, then she proceeded to show me two photographs of the exact same chairs. Now, the chairs in these photographs are yellow. And to prove the uh, point, uh, the, apparently Monet did quite like painting his furniture to suit the rooms in his house. The base level here is exactly the same yellow as the photographs. So there we are. So again, we've got no idea what they're going to do, but two, two chairs there, two very, very substandard condition French dining chairs there in blue paint, looking absolutely on their last legs from uh, Monet's dining room. So let, let's see where we, we go with that. Um, and I suppose we're going to take a darker tone now, really, and move on to this, again, a very unassuming pinstripe shirt that one may wear on a daily basis until we look at the label and it says HM Prison Service. We know where this is going, don't we? And then in text on the shirt, sorry, it says 058111 Cray. Is the shirt actually worn by Mr. Cray himself and his lovely hunky body down in Shepton Mallet in the 1950s. Moving on, I think the, uh, the next lot will get you to orbit with uh, not one, not two, not three, but 14 original licensed photographs from the, uh, from the NASA missions, including the Apollo moon landing of 1969. Um, there's quite a variety of shots here some in outer space, some quite uh, boring kind of internal of, of, the, of the space rooms. But uh, my personal favourite is this one here of uh, Buzz Aldrin uh, in, in the cabin there. And he's actually wearing an Amiga Speedmaster watch, which is handy because we have one in the safe for the next sale. These really hardly ever come to market. 
um, for all 14 in beautiful walnut frames, I must say. Uh, these hardly ever come, and all 14, I think we've priced them quite sensibly at um, three to five thousand pounds, but they could go on and on and on and on to the moon. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Now, this um, again looks quite unassuming it's just it's a pin cushion uh, but this came from a house that we cleared in 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 Oxfordshire the gentleman's name was Lloyd and we're having a full day of his a full day of the Lloyd collection in two room it took it took six men five days to clear two very modest small rooms in a house in Banbury and uh, this is one of my favorite things in the collection it's a sweetheart pin cushion so it's for one's beloved uh, but in this instance, the beloved is the, the, uh, the creator of the scouting movement, uh, Sir Baden Powell. So a really rare piece of scouting history. And it's an original frame, no doubt. Um, I think we've priced that as well, like five to eight hundred pounds. But, you know, that could really go on and on and on. So these are just five lots of a much larger sale. Well, possibly uh, more, more like 1,500 lots will be going through over three or four days to include jewellery, watches, really good modern art and design. And we're still taking entries in. You have until the 22nd of March, which is the Friday, uh, to get the items to us and we can value them and process them and they can join these wonderful things at auction towards the end of April. Thank you.